Time's out. Wait. Is the truck loaded? Yes, ma'am. Come on. Got a plane to catch. Come on, if you don't leave now, you're gonna miss your flight, and then he's gonna be late for school. Come on, come on, game's up. Come on! You got three days left to counter. Wait. You wait. have wait. to wait. wait. You have to wait. wait. Come on. Hey. Your granddad gave me that. I always use it when I travel. Can I have it when you get back? Can you have it? Yeah, all right. And we'll finish the game, okay? Don't reset it. Okay. Ask Grandpa when he's gonna come and visit. Oh, well. Me, I do I love you. Okay, I'm gonna get to <laughs> Let go. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Call me when you land. Will do. I love you. I love you too. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, see you on Friday. Yeah. Say hi to Dad. Will do. Yo. You heard from Daddy this morning? No. Still thinking? Yeah. I got a new brick. I think I can checkmate him in three. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's the move? The first move is pawn five to pawn three. Hi, Miss Wright. Hey, Grace. Hey, Hi. did you grab the brownies I made? Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Hi, leave a message. Hey, it's me. I haven't heard from you since yesterday. Hope the conference is going well. Uh, we're gonna see you tonight, and um, making something special for supper, so come home hungry. Love you. Bye. Look what I made. It can go light speed fast by forming a portal through these generators. One creates negative energy, and the other one creates positive. That's nice. Look, and there's room for the both of us. Let me see. What's that? Who want to have a baby? But they don't make Lego babies yet. <laughs> um, is there milk and I just... Yeah. Jay, you want a brownie? Yes! You're not hungry? Not if you are. It's me. We've been waiting for an hour. Call me when you get this. Bye. Um, flight 767 from Newark. Have all the passengers come off the flight yet? Uh, here. Maintenance crews are on board. 
We've been here for over an hour. My husband's on that flight, and he hasn't come out yet. Maybe he's stuck in customs. This happens all the time. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do from here. Hi, I'd like to inquire about a client who's there for the Relativistic Dynamics Conference. His name's Gabriel White, W-H-Y-T-E. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me what time he checked out? Mr. White is still checked in. He is? I'm dialing his room. There's no answer. Would you do me a favor and send somebody to check that he's not there? I'm... He was supposed to be on a flight tonight, and I'm waiting for him at the airport in Toronto. Sure, I'll have someone go to his room. Shall I put you on hold? Yeah, sure. Thanks. What happened? I'm not sure. Daddy's late. Housekeeping checked his room. He's, he's not there, but his luggage is. And he hasn't left any messages? No, ma'am. Hello. Hey, Dad. Oh, hi, sweetie. Um, have you seen Gabe the last couple of days? Because um, I'm a Pearson, and he was supposed to come off the flight, and he hasn't. So I called the hotel, and they said that he's still checked in, but his phone's turned off, and... Uh, I saw him right after he landed. Uh, I took him to a workspace on campus. And just left him. We were supposed to have lunch the next day, but he, he didn't answer his phone, so I assumed he was busy. Something's wrong. He called me yesterday morning, and I haven't heard from him since. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll... I'll see what I can find out. I'll call you back. Okay. Tell Grandpa I said hi. Uh, yeah, I heard. Hi, Errol. Who says hi? Bye, Dad. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Come on, kiddo. Gabriel White, Newark. He left Wednesday morning. No, I haven't spoken to him today. The last time anyone spoke to him was my father in Princeton. Look, you're the police. Aren't you supposed to be doing something? huge favor. Would you watch Errol for a couple days for me while I go to Princeton? He called after landing, checked into his hotel, came to my office, then we came here. Well, have the police been here yet? Not yet. I didn't even know this place existed. He's the one who showed it to me. I just gave him access and left, and he said he wanted a quiet place to work. This definitely was not here. Whatever it is, he... Must be his. Did he have those crates with him? Shrink wrap, yeah. Yeah. It's his wallet and his phone. We need to get the police here right away. And then maybe talk to people that he knew on campus.
to do. Hey, Professor. I uh, pulled those boxes we were talking about. Just let me know you want them. Okay, I'll have them right with you. I need to get back. Listen. Go find him. Dad, it's been three days. The police are baffled. And... Where are you at? We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's my granddad's legacy. We kept it exactly how he made it. You want a coffee? Uh, yeah. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, sorry. You, um, seen this guy in here the past couple days? Uh, no. Sorry. Yeah, it's coming right up. Report card. Dad. Hey, Peanut. Guess a look. Can I see yours? Yeah, all right. Why were you away so much? Because I never came home. Errol? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was a strange dream. This is Marika. Please leave a message. Hey, Mom. I'm just checking in. Hope the lecture went well. Have a safe flight. Bye. Was it about your mom? No, I just forgot to call her earlier. Was it about how you haven't studied for your finals? You don't need to dream about reality. Mom? Mom? Yeah? Hey, welcome back. You just get in? Yeah. Want breakfast? Thanks, that would be great. All right, come down whenever. Okay. Hey, good morning. Oh, thank you. 
Didn't you have class today? Hmm. I canceled. I was too tired. You sleep on the plane? Mm -mm. Not much lately. Um, there's another letter here from MIT. Have you accepted yet? Told you. I'm just not a Red Sox fan. Oh, honey. You can't let this go by. We'll talk about this later. Um, by the way, there's a message from Dr. Wong's office on the machine. Did you miss your appointment last week? I'm not seeing Dr. Wong anymore. Why not? Because I never blacked out once from the medication, but he is keeping my driver's license, and I'm sick of taking the bus. So uh, you want to change medications? Well, I'd like to stop them altogether. And you've already stopped. Yep. I'd like to feel like myself again. You're not eating? No, uh, I already did. Let's talk about this later, okay? Bye. Thank Welcome you. back. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Anyone? Uh, it would take weeks to even organize a workflow. What if I gave you my approach? Did it work? No, no, you have to tell me. <laughs> oh, Mr. White, only two minutes left. Why even bother? Sorry, sir. Well, since you obviously don't need my instruction, why don't you tell us the answer? It's unsolvable. You have one too many variables. We'd need to know the value of Z, at least. Okay. Um, that's good for today. Mr. White, can I have a word? Listening. Sorry. What was so important this time? Is this Grandpa Sal asking or Professor Sal? Uh, both. I was helping Grace. She has her thesis defense coming up. Sometimes I feel like you're taking advantage of your sweet, good-natured grandfather. Hey, don't give me any special treatment. I, I'm not sure how to treat you. you. You spend all your time with your girlfriend. You never hand in assignments half the time. You don't even show up. And yet, you ace every one of my exams. How did you see the problem on the board so quickly? I just did. But how? I don't know how. I, I can see it like a color out of place. Y you need to know Z, otherwise it's a dead end. What about this? Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah, I can do this. You're gonna need a few hours. Great. It took me a week. And I'll bet you come up with the same answer. Earl, can I show you something? It's, uh, it's in the lab. You need a maid, Grandpa? Ugh. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, look, I, um, I need you to listen very carefully to what I'm going to say. I, I, I need you to be open to the craziest possibilities. Things you dreamed of as a child. There are multiple universes. And we live in one of them. On one track, at one point in space, time. Now, before your father left for Princeton... My father? Listen, just listen. Before he left, I believe he found a way to move back, forth, on that track. What? He stabilized a traversable wormhole, moved the accelerated end of that wormhole into the past, 
and traveled through it. It's an accelerator. I found it in one of those boxes in a storage room at Princeton. They were sitting there for 54 years when I found them. This display at the last coordinates of where I believe your father arrived, stored in its memory. GPS coordinates of exactly where I found it, minus 19,655 days from when I found it. I've been, I've been trying to make this work for years, but there were missing parts, and I, I, I don't have all your father's notes. You're saying that my father... I'm saying your father flew to Princeton, put this together, <laughs> and went back to the calendar year, 1946. Something must have happened to him there, otherwise he would have returned the instant he left. And, and we wouldn't have even perceived his absence. What happened to him? I don't know. How, how, how would this be possible? I knew that exactly how to fix this years ago. But I, I'm, I'm not a specialist in quantum mechanics. I've had to learn about black holes and cosmic strings from scratch. And I, I still can't solve some of these fundamental problems. It says he created negative energy, but I have no idea how. Why are you telling me this now? What is this? You have a gift, Harold. More so than your father, even. I didn't want to have to ever tell you this. I'd have much preferred you just live your life. I can't do this alone. You help me. I think we can figure it out. There is no proof. There is proof. These were in one of the boxes. If you want to test this against your father's handwriting, be my guest. This mold, the, the ink, it's 67 years old. And I've transcribed all of your father's research notes. It's, 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 it's revolutionary, never been done before. And, and look at this. I think he was planning to meet with Einstein. I, I know I'm asking a lot, but the, the payoff, Errol, everything will be corrected. What do you mean, correct it? I mean, we're living in a negative space. Gabe should be here now. Your mother, you, me, none of us should be living this life. Gabe disappeared in 2000. Anyone who was affected by that is living an alternate reality. We fix this, we bring him back. It'll all return to normal. The last... 12 years of our lives will go back to what they were supposed to be. You really believe in this? Yes. Grandpa, you know how much Mom struggles forgetting about him. This is a fantasy. Have you told any of this to her? No, I've only told you. I'm, I'm begging you to keep it that way. Harold. You probably never forgive yourself. Hi. Hey. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, I just got here. You okay? Yeah. Did you talk to your prof? Presenting in two weeks. Cool, well, uh, I'll help. No, you've, you've done enough. Just show up to the presentation. I need a friendly face there. Yeah, I'll be there. We still on for tonight? Yeah, if you want. You seem kind of preoccupied. No, no, I, I really... Uh, had my heart set on seeing you. <laughs> what was it again? One man show about the Bhopal disaster? Yes, yes, exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, you wanna tell me what's up? No, tell me, tell me what research you're doing. Mostly just the details of the GNHs of the three countries I'm studying. What are you working on now, Professor? I take an old family photograph, and I paint a picture of that image, and then I make digital copies of it over and over again, each time 
removing elements to it. And then I, I go back to the original painting and take the figures out as if they weren't there to begin with. So you're altering your own memory sources? Something like that, yeah. Hi, Andy. Hi. 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 Hello. Do you want to join us? It's all right. I got to get somewhere. Um, let me I take this for you. You still going? Yeah. One second. Thanks, honey. Uh, excuse me for one minute. Would you mind if I checked out your workstation? You don't have to say anything. Just listen. I have spent years on this. Everything I've done is based on evidence your father left behind. Let me walk you through his research. Who's this? My husband. See, he's dead. We should get going. Just think about what I've been saying, please. Thank you, Professor. Good night. Thank you for coming. I admire you so much. I remember when you dreamed of becoming an artist. Now you're doing it. That wasn't my dream, Bobs. You okay? Yeah, why? You seem distant. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, been away these three days. Marika. You work too hard. Thanks for dinner. It was takeout. Yeah, but it was really delicious takeout. Mm. Here, I'll see you uh, in class. Yeah. Good night. about your dad what we never talk about him we don't have to talk about him please i'd like to did gramps say something to you tonight about what nothing so you've been thinking about dad a lot It all came flooding back at the airport. I remember we played chess. Went to the movies twice a month. On, on science nights, he'd teach me the concepts using my toys. He loved me. Weird. I, I don't. I don't remember what he looked like. You know, just photographs and stuff. Do you ever get angry about what happened? Well, I don't think about it. Did I ever tell you how we met? No, not really. You know, it was. Um... When we were still living in Princeton, and uh, Pops uh, dragged me to some event that I didn't want to go to. I think, um, I think Mom had just died like a couple months before, and he wanted to get me out of the house. Well, he introduced me to his prize student. And it was love at first sight. Just like when mom and dad got married. They asked me to marry him a month later at this old diner we used to go to. 
I resisted at first because he was a workaholic and wanted to change the world. I thought he wouldn't have time for a family. But you know what he said? What? He could change the world and be home for supper every night. And he was. He was so confident. Do you remember? Yeah. Such a dreamer. Nothing was impossible. You know, I have this reoccurring dream about the night that he didn't come home, where he calls and tells me what happened. What happened? I fell in love. Or he hit his head and had amnesia. Or He just wanted a different life. Not with us. You can't do this. You're off the medication. It's putting you in a rut. They're not helping. I don't want to feel numb. It's just that, you know, your dad, he never broke a promise ever. And I just, I remember his face at the airport so vividly and the way that he looked at me, it just looked like he you knew can't, something. You can't do this was, again. You can't think like I that. I just want to know. It doesn't matter. That's, all, that's the only it thing I matter. want. What difference does it make? He's gone. He's dead. This time, I'm late. I can't go. What is it? My mom. Is she OK? I shouldn't leave her alone. Is that what you were trying to tell me earlier? You want to know why I'm not going to MIT? I can't leave her alone. I'm sorry. I know we had plans. Sometimes it's hard not to take everything you do for me for granted. Of all people, you don't have to apologize. You know, I've been carrying this around for weeks. I was gonna give it to you after grad, but I, I just... all these years yeah. they still don't make them but is that a baby let me know when you're ready for the real thing soon i i gotta check on her i'm sorry do you want me to stay, keep you company? No, thanks. I, I don't think she wanted you to see her like this. Careful. <laughs> but you, you go to the play. Well, not if you aren't.
Oh, Mom, miss any more classes, you're gonna be worse than me. Mom. Mom. Oh, fuck! Mom. Mom! Mom. I, I need an ambulance at 1637 Sherwood Drive. No! My mom, my mom's not, she's not breathing. No, I can't, she's not breathing. Oh, please. Come on. What do I do? No, mom, come on, fuck, no, no, no. to where I shouldn't have. Any chance what you were saying is true? Walk me through the research. By the way, my secretary has access to the lab but knows nothing of this, and I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah, sure. I suggest you follow suit. Don't tell. the increase last year in the GNH of Ghana, and the source has been verified twice. It's in the bibliography. Well, that's excellent work. Thank you. How do you feel? Relieved. So, we celebrating or what? Yeah, absolutely. I just have to check on something with Gramps in the lab. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm just helping him with something. That's great, what? Theoretical stuff? Wormhole theories. <laughs> Science fiction? Yeah, kind of. Helps me relax, do something fun. I'm glad. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll call you later. Congrats. Well, Grandpa, if, if this is true, why would he want to meet with Einstein after he invented the machine? Well, read it. You can't just tell me. Well, I'm not entirely sure what to tell you, but obviously it's important. Okay, uh, the Lorentz transformation? Yeah, yeah, right here. Your orders, gentlemen? Copy for the young man. Thank you. And Earl Gray for the professor. Thank you. Uh, I'm done for the evening. You need anything else? Uh, no, no, thank you. Shut it. Hey! Hey, where are you? Uh, swamped. I don't think I can make it. Sorry. Wow, doesn't sound very relaxing. Well, you know, uh, occupational hazard. Well, don't work too hard. Okay, I won't. Bye. So, assume that in three dimensions, the X, Y, and Z axes are all parallel to the respective counterparts and the relative velocity between the two observers is V along the common x-axis. So the two observers are using their own Cartesian system to measure the intervals. Exactly. There's your negative energy.
so dangerous. For a person to be inside this? How it travels through a wormhole? And even if it does work, I mean... My father was killed. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? What are you working on? Uh, an experiment, actually. It's a... Uh, kind of volatile. Does it have something to do with traveling through a wormhole into the past? Victim suffered a gunshot wound. Carried no identification. Brands of clothing uh, unidentifiable. The assailants left only his pocket watch and his keys. No witnesses, no suspects. I, I think this is my father. And I have to stop this from happening in 1946. I know it's hard to believe. That's why I didn't tell you. And the, the chances of us succeeding in doing something like this are, are, are so small. But we have to try. The, the, the payoff. Everything would be different. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. You believe me, right? I believe you believe it, but... I know, it's crazy. I, I felt the same way as you at first. I have to get back to work. Tonight, I'll make dinner. You can ask me anything you want. I'll, I'll explain the science behind it. Okay. Why didn't you tell Mom what you were doing? Because I wasn't sure I'd succeed. I didn't want to give her false hope. She needed to move on, try to enjoy her life in whatever form she could. Are you sure that was the right choice? No. But I couldn't help but think that if she did latch onto the possibility of bringing your father back, couple that with her depression. You were already afraid that she was going to take her own life. Exactly. Why well, suffer through the waiting period if it'll all be corrected? You're not thinking of telling Grace? No. No, of course not. Gold times. <laughs> if this works and you bring your father back to 2000, what will happen to our lives for the past 12 years? My parents will be alive. I'll, I'll be a happier person. I'll be more confident. I won't be acting out of fear that I'll lose the people around me. We're, we're only changing one thing that shouldn't have happened. And so I don't, I don't see your life path changing that much. You know, you'd have the same interests, you'd go into the same field. And we'd have no memory of this life. Sounds perfect. If we're together. Why wouldn't we be together? Well, nothing's guaranteed, right? I mean, I could get hit by a bus, or you could meet some other girl going to the movies with your dad and ask her out to prom. I ask anyone else out to the prom. No, I'm serious. You gravitated towards me as a child partly because you were missing a parent. The first time you stayed at my place was when your mom went to Princeton. We spent day and night together, and that won't happen now. None of this will exist, and we won't even know what this was. What are the chances we repeat it? We knew each other well before 2000. We were inseparable as children before my father left. We'll be together again. I know it. I'm sure of it. need some things to motivate me. Some things? What? It's everything. It's just the chessboard. No, it's our life. 
If you get the chance, would you just keep resetting it till it was perfect? This is coming from an idealist who's, who spent the past two years studying new economies for developing countries? No, Errol, I'm a realist. What's wrong with idealism? What's wrong with wanting a mother and a father who aren't dead? That's not fair. I didn't choose any of this. No, you didn't. But please... Please don't pretend like you understand. Grace. And we have a life here. We talked about getting married. We said we were getting a new place. We're gonna start a family. My, my father left unnaturally. It had ripple effects. That we're dealing with. Well, that I'm correcting. Everyone that he might have encountered, their lives have to revert back to I'm pregnant. How are you gonna correct that? How long? Five weeks. What do you want to do? I don't know. I need time to think. Stop working on this. I don't know if I can. Well, there's your answer then. Is there any way to make sure that Grace and I will be together in the new timeline? You shouldn't be thinking about messing with other elements. The point here is to correct things, not to create an ideal world that, for that yourself. That is correct. We're meant to be together. So what, you want to go back, talk to yourself as a kid, and plant the idea to woo her again? I don't know. The more attachments you make here, the harder this will all be. How's the field stability? Terrible. I've just been stuck for weeks. Well, you're doing great. Just keep at it. I gotta go. All right. You gonna be okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. All right, you're eight weeks in, so it's still too early to tell, but it looks good so far. But I wouldn't tell your friends for another month. What? It should be working. The tangent vectors are correct. I have ds squared defined, but the accelerated end keeps going off into who knows where. Okay, just just calm down. Uh, Chuck. Uh, second drawer. There's none left. What difference does it make? If I can't solve it, how the hell are you? Is he okay? No, he'll be fine. Thanks, Mrs. Smart. Are you all right? It's been a long time since someone asked me that. Oh, I... I've been meaning to ask you often. 
Applied, thanks. I've noticed, uh, Professor, that outside of the lab, you're always alone. If, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. Uh, I wish I could. Maybe someday you'll tell me why you can't? I hope to be able to do that. Grace, it's Sal. Hi. To uh, have a minute? Not sure, really. I just wanted to ask, uh, how's Harold been lately? I haven't really seen him. I'm asleep when he gets home, and he's asleep when I leave. I'm uh, worried about him. With all due respect, you put this idea of correcting everything into his head. Why would you care how he is? feeling okay got your chocolate milk and bacon thanks well, I'll be working in the basement if you need me Say something. What do you want to hear? Every day I'm afraid this will all disappear because part of me knows you'll succeed, but I want nothing more than for you to fail. Well, you might get your wish. We've hit a snag. Been stuck for weeks. So you're stopping? I can't stop until I've tried everything. You know that. So what do you want? What should I do? Abort? No. Isn't that what you're doing? No. All of this will happen again. It'll be better. I... Do you ever think that maybe your father was meant to die there? That was his natural course, and this is ours? Don't you see, Errol, despite everything? I like this life. I like who I am, and I fell in love with you as you were here. Grace, as I am, I'll make a terrible father. I don't want to pass this down to our child. I want a clean slate. Nobody has a clean because slate. Because nobody gets the chance to have one. I can't live like this. I mean, knowing our lives could end at any second, and we have no say. Most people don't. And most people don't sleep with the Grim Reaper. Can you look me in the eye and tell me with absolute assurance that if you go through with this, we'd be able to recreate the soul of this baby? Yeah. I'll stop. I'll stop. You're right. There's no guarantee. I can't look as you. Tell Sal I'm not doing this anymore, okay? First time your mother tried to commit suicide was just before I moved here. My God, you were only 15 years old. The night before that happened, I tried to convince her to go out with another man. I wanted her to move on but she flat out rejected the idea. We argued. I told her she was being foolish for holding on to the memory of your father for so long. And the next day, she never stopped loving him. 
when your child is in distress. This was never supposed to be her life. It's my child I have to protect now. I'm sorry. As I said, it's four bedrooms. I understand you're expecting. Uh, we only need two. Ah, four is better. Really? Yeah. Never know. Easy for you to say. And do. <laughs> so there's a large living area. Perfect for a TV and a sitting room. Yeah. TV right here. I can have my recliner back here. No, I don't want our kid watching TV. What? But I was gonna... <laughs> what? You don't like TV either. Yeah, but I could lie around on Sundays, have my buddies over, drink some beers. You don't have any buddies. I'll make buddies, and you'll hate every one of them. Do you have a girlfriend? Serious, play it out. Let's just suck it up and do the banquet hall thing. Well, why don't we do it at the new place? There's room in the backyard. We can just keep it to close friends and family. Small. Errol. What? What is it? How? It's hard to pinpoint. Still early in the pregnancy, may not have been a fully viable embryo. Could have been stress. Could have been a factor, sure, but sometimes it's it's just spontaneous. I'm sorry. I'll check on her again in an hour. I just heard. I'm so sorry. I figured you might come here. Is Grace still at the hospital? This isn't it. My dad doesn't get shot in an alley. Mom doesn't take those pills. My child does not spontaneously Every time I try to commit to this life, something tells me that I shouldn't. Sometimes I can see all the things that were supposed to happen so clearly. Grace comes to Cambridge with me. We have a family. It can all still happen. It has to. Well, it's up to you, kiddo. You said we were close. 
We are. It's just this one problem with the ex... from here and land on this spot in 1946. Now we know how the Earth moves. We know where it will be in its solar orbit. Our mutation calculations were correct, but in calculating the rate of the Earth's spin, I completely forgot to account for the seismic events that altered the balance of the Earth's mass. And therefore the rate of spin. 31 events since 1946 that significantly altered the rate of rotation. Last year's earthquake in Japan alone shortened the Earth's day by 1.8 millionths of a second. So we add that to the known effects of ocean currents and atmospheric winds. exactly where and when we want. The computer was calculating correctly. I just wasn't feeding it the right variables. You've done that. Now, a couple more weeks of tests, and I guess we'll never know this happened. Father would, in theory, be the only one who would remember any of this, since his life would be uninterrupted, from the moment we intercepted him onwards. So now what's the plan? Okay. Uh, I meet him as soon as he gets off the plane at Newark. I think we should let as much of that timeline occur before his disappearance. Grabs. What? I'm gonna go. Not you. No. If this doesn't work, you still have a life It here. won't matter. This timeline will continue. We'll test it. We'll make sure everything is safe. But even if I don't succeed, for whatever reason, you'll know because nothing changes. And then at that point, you can do whatever you think is necessary. But I have to try it my way. What is your way? Well, talking to him at the airport isn't going to be enough. That depends on what we say. He has to tell Marika. That's the key. She has to be aware of his intentions. Then they can play it out after no, that. We have to ensure that he doesn't do it again. If we Ebenezer Scrooge him here and now, we could cease to exist because he would have already avoided the mugging. Our only asset is that we have his memory in 2000 and 1946. That's the only thing that's going to survive after the correction. In theory. We, we have to show him the damage he's done without removing him from his reality. Just sign here. Your instructor will be with you in a few minutes. What is this? Uh, instructions. Your father to make sure I visit Professor Kale's chemistry department on uh, May 15th, 2012. Why? So if nothing happens in three days, it's up to you to do it right. Understood. You know, if this works, I'll never be able to thank you. No, you won't. And uh, I won't know if you've been incinerated for three days. Well, the tests went fine. I hope you'll visit us more, Grandpa. See you in another life, kiddo.
tired of that? Will do. Just getting out. I'll come by after I check into the hotel. Perfect. See you then. He's just growing up so fast. He's got the same love of science as me, but it's like, I think his artistic flair kind of balances him out somehow. He's probably a better critical thinker than I ever was. Perhaps another student for me. So this is the place. Yes, indeed. It's a dead space. <laughs> You'd be lucky if you see a janitor down here once a week. Some things never change. Can I ask what this is all about? I'm sorry. After your dissertation, I promise never to question you again. I take it back. No, I just, I guess I want somewhere quiet to work, that's all. You okay for light? Yeah. No, I'm good. Listen, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Uh, do you want to meet up for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Uh, just let's touch base in the morning. All right. If you need anything else, let me know. I will do. It's good to see you, Gabe. Good to see you, too. Good luck. Thanks. Find out. You need to get up. See you later, okay? Okay. Bye, my darling.
If you're looking for the professor, he's on his Saturday morning walk. Do you know when he'll be back? No. Why don't you people go to his office? Coffee? So, I make that too. They're on me. Oh, no, that's not necessarily on. Oh, please. Where are you from? Um, well, well London originally. Uh, Great city. Welcome to Jersey. Thanks. Thanks, Johnny. So what brings you here? Work. What kind of work do you do? I've had a very strange day. I don't mean to be rude. That's okay. A new year. Yeah. Hey, Wild Gus. You're in research. It takes one to know one. Institute or university? I can't really talk about it. It's okay. I, I can't tell you that I'm here on a theoretical physics scholarship. <laughs> Pretty young. What are you working on? I'm doing a paper on a phenomenon called wormholes. It's purely theoretical. My mentor, Dr. Wales, the real expert. I'm just learning about it. My name's Errol. Son's name's Errol. Really? Where's he? Home. How long are you here for? Not long. Well, that's good. One thing I've found in traveling is that you can't stay away from home too long. Not good for family life. If I may ask, what angle are you researching on uh, wormhole theory? What the implications of a stable one would be. Really? What have you found so far? Do you love them? What? Your family, do you love them? Yeah, I love my work and my family. That must be nice. In my experience, one or the other has to give. Well, it's just a matter of finding the right balance. Do you mind if I ask you how you found that balance? <laughs> well, you're doing better than I am. I got no wife, no kids. Both my parents are dead. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Oh, well, good luck with your paper. Actually, my father's not dead yet. He left me when I was nine. My mom and I dropped him off at the airport. He was going on a business trip to Princeton. He was supposed to come back in a few days, but he never did. We waited a long time. I mean, my mom did. It was so long ago, I don't really remember him. My mom went back to school and became a professor, and she was uh, inspired in her work, but she never got over the confusion of not knowing where my father went. I think she thought he ran off with another woman. She was devastated, and she took her own life. Then my grandfather came to me, and he said that we could find my father. If we worked together, it would take time, maybe years to figure out what he had done. But we did it. I hadn't seen him in 12 years. Yeah. Oh, my God. So tell me about Einstein. 
That's why you're here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Why? W what could he possibly tell you that you don't already know? You first tell me. What happens to me? Tonight you're mugged. They kill you. That's it. All this work and some guys take you for the money in your pocket. What is this? That's you. It's your suit. It's your description. They left your pocket watch. I don't know why. You wearing your keys in your left pocket? Basement wall. This is everything you've missed for 12 years. You, know, you really were a good father. I was a happy kid. How did she die? Pills. It was her third try. She couldn't bear not knowing why the love of her life vanished. And you? I lost everything. And I rebuilt your dream. It's all here. All because you wouldn't tell her what you were doing. So you tell me, why? I tried, I tried no, so many you never times. said the words, I'm no, building... She didn't want to hear it. She, anything that would change our life, she, she, she wouldn't have it. She's happy. Yeah. I decided I, I can travel. I can go, I can come back, she'll never know. Try and speak in the past tense. It was a long time ago. Mom didn't sign up for this. Signed up. Right. This is the most important discovery in history. Imagine the good that we can do with this. No, you have to choose. It's one or the other, your family or this. Well then, family. Always family. I never knew that this would happen. Okay. It's really you. You're a man. And you. Well, it took you, what? Under a year. To do what took me decades. And the mother was right. You are a genius. I'm not. Selfish, neglectful. I had a child. I had a life with Grace, and I fucked it up. She does with Grace, her name. You are the only one who can fix this now. I will. I promise you. I missed you. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, no, just give me a couple of days and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna talk to your mom. I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna make sure there's no misunderstandings. A couple of days? Listen, I have to, listen, I have to finish my work here. Einstein's gonna help me set up the parameters of his use. I've finished the work he started. That's why I'm here, create safeguards. Okay, to prevent this kind of thing from happening. That's what he did with the atomic bomb. You can't, there are no parameters. Einstein spoke against the use of the bomb. 
Even you, with all my changes, I couldn't begin to imagine the chaos if even one more person used this. There are no exceptions. Al would tell you the same thing. You have to go back now and destroy it. There's nothing wrong with the technology. Nothing. Yeah. Listen. Listen, I've been very, very careless. I realize that now. I've been talking to strangers, even. I'm going to stay down here the entire time. Mom, I died because of this. Does that mean anything? Of course it does. That's why I will avoid the mugging this time. Now, you've given me what I need. I, I, you can even stay here. There's so many questions I want to ask you. You've grown up. We, we can make... Together, we can make sure that I get back safe. I, I know you think you're being safe. I know you think you're being careful. But you have to look at the chart. Look at it. Look at it carefully. Why didn't you intercept them before I left? Why was coming back? That's the question, isn't it? I wanted to see this. I wanted to see the fruits of your labor. The glorious unknown. That you gave up everything for. I hoped you'd go back immediately. And you could erase the last 4,556 days of my life. And I'd be a child. Looking up at you with wonder as you came back from your trip. I will do. The problem is, I know how you think. You and I have lost the same things. But I had to feel those losses. To watch a loved one die. I had to create safeguards to make sure that this never happened again. You say you love mom and me? More than anything. I love you too. Go back now. Remember the man I became because of your choices. No! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. No! Who's here? Dad. Hi. Hi, Mr. White. You're early. What happened? 